All right, Algebra 1, here we go. Uh, moving into Chapter 4. This is 4-2. Yes, we skipped 4-1, no problem. We're going to tie it all together here later. Uh, we're going to look at patterns and linear functions, okay, number patterns, okay. Uh, our essential question is, what are several ways to identify and represent patterns that describe linear functions? We want to look at patterns of numbers and come up with a linear function. That linear function is just an algebraic equation, like 2x plus 3, okay? Um, how do you represent the pattern? We're going to look at inputs, input numbers into a table, okay? Where our input is our x value and the output is y. So we want to come up with an equation that when we plug in a number for x, we get a particular y, okay? And that y is our pattern, okay? So what do you have to do algebraically to the x value to get the y value to be an answer? What equation do you get? Or you're going to hear tomorrow when you come in here, what's my rule? What's the equation that makes this work? You know, if you're going 2, 4, 6, 8, what are you doing each time? Well, I'm adding 2 every time to my x. When I plug in 2, I get 4 by adding 2. How do I get 6? I add 2 more. So you're taking that x value and adding 2. Um, that's a pattern and you can come up with an equation for that. Uh, we're going to look at problem 1, page 256. It says, find the relationship between the number of rectangles and its perimeter. That relationship is the algebraic equation, the rule. Okay? So they, they give you this. If you look on 256, they show you one rectangle with a width of 1 and a uh, height of 6. And then this one has a length of 6, and there's your 1 and 1 for the width of each of them. And then if you take three rectangles, it's still six uh, long, and there's your one, one, one for each width, okay? So what's happening here? Well, when we had one triangle, what's the perimeter here? It's one plus that one plus six plus six. So it's a total perimeter of a y value of 14. So our x value is the number of rectangles. The perimeter is y. So when I get two rectangles, my x is two, what's my perimeter? One plus one plus the 6, plus the 1, plus the 1, plus the 6. It's 16. If my x value, or if I have three rectangles, it's going to be 1 plus 1 plus 1, plus the 6, plus the 1, plus the 1, plus the 1, plus the 6. Remember, perimeter is the sum of the sides. You don't add the insides there, we're just adding the perimeter of that, okay, the outside. So, we're getting a pattern here. 1 to 14, 2 to 16, 3 to 18. I'm noticing I'm, I'm going up by 2, okay? That's one pattern I notice, okay? So we start looking for patterns here. When I start looking at what I'm actually doing here, okay, I'm noticing that each one of them has 6 and 6, or 12 added in it. When I had one triangle, I had two ones. When I had two triangles, I had one, two, three, four ones. When I had three triangles, I had one, two, three, four, five, six ones. So the number of ones that I was adding up was always twice the number of rectangles, okay? So now I start looking for a rule or an equation to mo model this pattern. So I said, okay, if I'm doubling the number of triangles or rectangles, x, and I'm always adding two sixes or 12, so when I come up with my equation, I'm going to get y equals, my y, my perimeter is 2 times the number of rectangles plus 12. Does that work? One triangle. Two times one is two, plus 12 is 14. That's what I got. When I had two rectangles, two. Two times two is four, plus 12 is 16. That's what I got. When I had three rectangles, x is three. Two times three is six, plus 12 is 18. That's what I got. So that's my rule right there. That's my equation. That if I, you know, if I can say now, okay, what if I had six rectangles? Well, I can plug in six here. 2 times 6 is 12, plus 12, I would get a perimeter of 24, okay? Once I've defined my rule, or my equation, I can find the perimeter y for any number of rectangles x that I plug in there, okay? So that's what we're trying to do. Take a pattern and come up with an equation that gives me that y value, okay? A couple other terms here, and we're going to look at a lot more of examples of this in class tomorrow. What is a function? A function is a relationship that pairs each x input with exactly uh, one output for y. 
Okay, and what that is is when you plug in, like that last example, when I plug in uh, 1 for the number of, for x, for the number of rectangles, when I had one rectangle, I'm only going to get uh, one y value, 14. I'm not going to plug in 1 and get some other value. I'm always going to get 14 when x is 1. Or when I plug in x is 2, I'm always going to get 16. Okay, I'm not going to get another number. That makes it a function. And what is a linear function? It's a function whose graph is a non-vertical line. It's a straight line just as long as it doesn't go up and down. That would be vertical. So it's a non-vertical, whether it's going this way or this way or however, that's a function. Okay, we'll, we'll look at more things uh, uh, as we go along there. Um, I think we've talked about vertical line tests already. As long as I only hit, if I take a vertical line like my, my uh, marker here, I only hit my red line one time that I move across here vertically, that makes it a function. Okay, if it was an S-curve, I'd hit more than once, it wouldn't be a function. We've already talked about that earlier. So, the big thing here is looking at a pattern and coming up with a, a rule or algebraic equation um, that identifies that pattern. And we'll look at that in class. We'll play a little game tomorrow called What's My Rule, where we practice coming up with equations. Okay? So, be ready for that tomorrow. We'll see you then. Have a good one. Bye.